for the entrance. Let us take hymn number A114 on page 52. Brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass for the soul of Maria Eugenia Markish. May God grant her eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus empowers us by giving us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is his gift to each one of us and even to others, the Gentiles, over which the Holy Spirit came down heavily and they joined the fold of Christ. Let us acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit within us. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, at this moment, let us acknowledge our failures, especially the failure of not being open to the Holy Spirit, not allowing Him to lead us and to guide us. And therefore, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have very great sin in my thoughts and in my, my words, in what I have done and what, I, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask that the Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me, me of the Lord our God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. restores us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Raise us up, we pray. 
to the author of our salvation, who is seated at your right hand, so that when our Saviour comes in majesty, those you have given new birth in baptism may be clothed with blessed immortality. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to Paul one night in a vision, Do not be afraid, but go on speaking, and do not be silent. For I am with you, and no one will attack you to harm you. For I have many people in this city who are my people. And he stayed a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews made a united attack on Paul and, the Jew, and brought him before the tribunal, saying, This man is persuading people to worship God contrary to the law. But when Paul was about to open his mouth, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of wrongdoing or vicious crime, O Jews, I would have a reason to accept your complaint. But since it is a matter of questions about words and name and your own law, see to it yourself. I refuse to be a judge of these things. And he drove them from the tribunal. And they all seized Sostins, the ruler of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to any of this. After this, Paul stayed many days longer and then took leave of the brothers and set sail for Syria, and with him Priscilla and Aquila. At the same tree, he had cut his hair, for he was under a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let our response be, God is king of all the earth. The, the Lord, Lord is king, king of, of all, all the, the earth. earth. All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, the great King over all the earth. God is King of all, of all the, earth. the earth. He humbles people under us and nations, nations under our feet. Our heritage he chose for us and pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God is, God is King, King of, of all, all the earth. earth. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praises. For God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God, God is King, God is of, king all the earth. of all the earth. Kindly rise for gospel of and on the third day rise from the dead and enter into his glory. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered 
the baby. She no longer remembers the anguish. For joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now. But I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy from you. In that day you will ask nothing of me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the eighth day of our novena. It's the eighth novena in honor of our celebration of the feast of the ascension of our Lord. We are preparing ourselves spiritually because our feast is not a social event. Our feast is a spiritual event. It might be followed by a social gathering, social celebration, be it at home, in your families, in your neighborhood. You might invite your people, your relations to join you for lunch, for dinner, etc. But uh, in our parish, this celebration is spiritual one. And that is why nine days long preparation we have undertaken. Tomorrow is the last day. And each day we have taken one, one uh, idea input from the Word of God. Today's uh, reading is indeed very inspiring. When we go for retreats, especially the so-called healing retreats, the so-called charismatic retreats, people tell us, I had a vision. I saw God. I saw Jesus talking to me like that. May be true or may not be true. I'm not questioning that. But I want you to know that uh, in today's reading, Paul had a vision. He saw Jesus talking to him. And Jesus spoke to him such uh, encouraging words which are so useful to you, to me, to all of us. Because today, nowadays, we need encouragement. We need someone to tell us good, good things about us and about what we should do. And this is precisely Jesus who appeared to Paul, told him beautiful words. And Jesus must have been following him because he was doing the work of Jesus. The risen Lord was following him because, you know, all these days we are uh, reflecting on the history of uh, the early Christians, how the apostles began soon after the ascension. They ran helter skelter to proclaim the word of God. So Paul had been to Athens, Greece, coming back to Corinth, along with Timothy, his good friend, he calls him my son, Silas and others. And in this vision, Jesus tells him, do not be afraid. <coughs> what do you feel when you are now at this moment hearing these words? Do not be afraid. You are now Paul. So Jesus talks to you. But go on speaking. A little more he said, do not be silent. Uh, some days back I was reading uh, some uh, nice uh, quotations. Today when evil is taking place, 
we must talk against it. Those who do not have the guts to talk, they are silent, they commit a sin. It may be true. What, uh, I mean, that is a point in that saying. We should uh, correct what is wrong. And that is why he says, do not be silent, go ahead. And not uh, alone, I am with you. And no one will attack you to harm you. And the next uh, sentence is very, very inspiring one. He says, I have many people in this city who are my people. God is saying, Jesus is saying, in this city, Corinth, I have many people who are my people. That means, I would apply to our local situation. They have, Paul and others have been harassed. They have been persecuted. But Jesus is telling him, don't worry, because there are many, many people who are my people, they will support you. See, this is another good idea for us to reflect upon. In uh, many places, uh, we hear such things in parishes and all. How? Suppose there are uh, 500 people. Out of 500 people, at least five or more, little more than five might uh, talk against God, might talk against Jesus, might talk against the church, might talk against the bishop, arrest priests, etc. But there are so many others. The rest, they are my people, they are with you. They are good. They support you. On uh, 29th and 30th April, there were ordinations to the priesthood and uh, uh, bishop addressing the, the candidates, the deacons, and to the people, especially to the people, he said, don't throw stones on the priest or, or some uh, uh, others who are working uh, with zeal and dedication in the parishes. This is true. Don't discourage them. And even if such people are there anywhere in any parish, they discourage the good work being done. Don't be afraid, Jesus tells us. Because there are so many others who are with you. And that is why we survive. Because you pray for us. You are with us. And this is the message the risen Lord gives us for his, the celebration of the feast of the ascension of our Lord because he, the ascended Lord, appeared to Paul and gave this vision and gave, gave this message. So we take it up, this message for us as an encouragement and uh, go ahead with the mission Jesus has entrusted to us. And the promise of the Holy Spirit in the gospel, Jesus is going, we are said, they were said, but Jesus tells us your, your sorrow will turn into joy because I will come back and you will see me and I will reward you. For the offertory, let us take hymn number B35 on page 76.
brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that uh, under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, so broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. Okay. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom of power, power and the glory are yours, yours for now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Always. And let us, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For communion, please take hymn number D131 on page 159.
let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow, Vespers Day, Vespers will be solemn, will be integrated in the Mass at 6 p.m. Please do come. Secondly, we have announced last Sunday there will be a parish picnic at uh, Hira Farm Perne. There is a, a good response so far, but still, I appeal and I invite all of you to join us in this parish picnic. Uh, the transport will be available at uh, 8.45 at the church steps. 9 o'clock we will leave. There are many facilities um, uh, that we can enjoy and relax ourselves and deepen our friendship, our relationship with one another. It is open to all the parishioners, young and old. Please do come and give your names and the fee, 750 rupees. For children below five, 200 rupees per head. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Number C, 39, on page 83. Sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my heart. Sing of the mercies of the Lord.